I am so excited to be back with a new collaboration. Um, Heather Balzer had another YouTuber had invited me to join a group of ladies. Um, and it is a collaboration where we put a layout out every month and we kind of have an inspiration or some directions to follow. And it's uh, called For the Love of Crafting. And oh my goodness, I just lost it. Just for the love of crafting and something. I'm sorry. Um, I just looked at the name of the group and then it just left my head. That's what happens at my age. Anyway, our assignment this month is to um, use scraps for paper and use like embellishments that we've already broken into. So I have two collections here that are older collections and as you can see I've kind of combined, these are all in one bag, but there's several different embellishments. And then I, these are my puffy stickers. And this was from a Pink Fresh Studio collection called Escape the Ordinary. And then I'm gonna also try to mix in, and this is all I have left of the other collection. And this is one of the collections from um, Coco Vanilla Studio. Um, I don't remember if it's Cool Kid or Boy, no, it's Boy's Rule, Boy's Rule. So I'm going to kind of work with both of these kind of bits and pieces that I have left over with these two collections. And I'm going to be scrapbooking some photos of my son um, bouldering or mountain climbing. And um, yeah, let's see what I can come up with. I have no idea right now what I'm going to do. I kind of have to look through all these pieces and see what um, what inspires me. And uh, I'm gonna have you watch my process now. Okay, so I'm going through my papers here. And as you can see, I do not have one full sheet of paper that I'm dealing with. So I'm really going to be piecing things together. I saw that paper there that has like the mountain peaks or triangles at the top. So I thought, oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna use that for the top part of my layout and I just grabbed a piece of white cardstock. Looking back, I should have grabbed a piece that I don't like or don't won't use, but that's all right. Um, so my edge wasn't really straight and I went ahead and fixed that. And now I'm just going to cut a bunch of strips of some of the different papers. Um, I ended up not pulling in too much of the other collection. Um, because the colors were off, but I pulled it because I thought maybe I could pull in some of the colors because they were the same type of tones, but it, it, it didn't end up working, but I did use some of the um, pattern paper. So I used a black or a white paper with a, like little black X's, and then I used a white paper with some gray stripes. Um, I think that's all I actually used from the um, boys rule paper pad but I'm going to go ahead and cut up a bunch of these now on that those red strips there's little like sayings on some of them well, I'm going to end up using the one that says create happiness and you'll find that this layout is very wordy but I don't care I really like how it turned out so I'm going to kind of just layer these strips up. Now that first one I did pop up on foam tape and I am going to pop up a couple other things on foam tape as well uh, just to add a little more depth and dimension and you know just visual interest and I'm going to show you lay show you myself laying these down but I'm not going to take you through the entire process because I did a lot of fiddling just moving and fiddling and moving and fiddling and I didn't want to have to make you sit through all of that. So I do cut some of it out uh, when I get to laying those down. Now here I wanted to show you that some of these strips are not 12 inches. So I end up doing a lot of piecing together and it works out fine. Be I knew I was going to be layering some of my photos over this and some embellishments so I knew I could be somewhat strategic about where I was placing things on the paper and where I should have my paper joins if that makes sense. 
This um, layout is going to have three three by four photos. Um, I did not uh, follow a sketch or anything uh, of that nature. I just knew that all I had was scraps and I figured the best way to deal with scraps would be to cut as much of them as I could into strips and kind of layer them up in a fun way. And I felt that adding some dimension to some of them in my mind kind of resembled the side of a mountain and like what he was doing because what they're looking for when they boulder is the the pieces of rock that jet out that they can grab onto so I was like well this kind of is like a wall with some layered strips on it that you know some of them are are sticking out further than others and it kind of resembles the side of a rock that they might be bouldering on now they my two two of my sons belong to a rock climbing club where it's indoor bouldering and rappelling and rock climbing this was actually just a rock at a park i can't remember what park it was at in North Carolina here and he went with his friend and you can see in the well you will see in the bottom photo he's got a friend spotting him and um, of course this makes me incredibly nervous but he's not super super high up on the rock so um, nonetheless he very easily could have fallen and hurt himself but I'm a mom of three boys so I have been very much used to um, trying not to worry on those types of situations. So back to my layout. Here's where I'm finally layering up those pieces. Um, I just, I use, let me see, three different patterns of paper and then I did the pops of red in there and then um, I end up pulling in a long strip that says follow your enthusiasms and um, like the strip I'm working with now, I end up not using. Um, so that's okay. It happens, right? You go through everything and not everything works. So um, yeah, so I'm going to layer up everything and I'm super excited to be joining this group of ladies and I will have all of the links to all of them below. Um, if you're new here to my channel and you have followed my link from one of the other girls, thank you for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. I would love, love, love for you to subscribe. I am 49, no, 48 subscribers away from 1,000, which is my goal um, because I'm wanting to do start doing some live videos on YouTube. And in order to do that, you need a thousand subscribers. So I'm really hoping to meet that goal as soon as possible. So of course, I would love your support. And I hope you are subscribing also because you enjoy my channel and you enjoy my process videos. Um, I have lots of videos on my channel and um, I would love for you to check them out. So back to my layout. Um, Okay, where are we at here? Still layering up. I thought I cut more of this out, but I guess maybe I didn't cut out as much as I thought. Um, so what I did once I finished this up, because obviously this is going to be super busy. Oh, I did finish my strips. This is going to be super, super busy. So I and what I want to do is position my photos as if they are as if he's climbing up that wall of paper that I've just um, kind of put on there. And I wanted them angled because naturally you're not going to be climbing straight up. You're going to be somewhat of an angle probably. And I did layer up my um, photos with some pattern paper from, oh my goodness, I did not even laid down these papers yet. I guess I was just showing you what my plan was. Now I'm going to lay them down and you won't have to watch this, um, too much of this. But back to how I am going to layer up my photos. I did use um, the two photos that are going to be on top of the um, strips and those I backed with um, whatchamacallit, some pattern paper 
and some black cardstock. And then um, the top photo, which you'll see is him sitting at the top of the rock that he climbed, looking down. And you can see his feet and he's looking down. That I'm going to back with another pattern paper, which is part of the red pattern paper. And that is because I'm going to need to bring some of the red that is at the bottom of the layout up to that photo so that your eye is led up there. So here I am um, putting in these strips and I think I only show you maybe one more and then I will cut the rest out um, and we'll go to layering up the photos. This um, original kit that I had, uh, it was all about like inspiring, being, you know, doing like a lot of inspirational word strips and stuff like that. And a lot of those worked out really, really well for this layout. So I was super excited. And honestly, from what I used on this page, I am probably going to just toss most of my scrap pieces because there's just not enough left to, if I have a scrap that is at least a quarter, like at least a six by six um, size or larger, I will keep those and put them in my scrap bin. But anything smaller, I am just gonna throw away because I've really gone through a lot of these embellishments and there's not going to be much I can do uh, with using, using just this kit. So I will move my embellishments into um, my organization system for my embellishments. And, um, and then I will kind of put my papers in my scraps. So here we are. Um, the strips are should be all laid down now. And I'm going to get my photos out. Um, so I'm interested in what kind of scrapbooking you all like to to do. Are you typically, um, do you resize your photos and try to put, you know, smaller, more smaller photos on a single layout, single page layout, or do you do double page layouts? Are you one that does Project Life? There's so many different ways to scrapbook and it's always interesting to me to find out how um, my viewers like to scrapbook. So let me know below um, what type of scrapper you are. Are you mostly single page, double page, Project Life? I would love to know. I typically do single pages. Um, on occasion, I will do a double page and sometimes I do a single page with a Project Life page beside it if I have a lot of photos to scrap. So here I am, I'm putting, finally putting down my photos. Um, sorry about, I maybe could have skipped some of uh, what I have showed you, but um, I am going to then pull out uh, my embellishments. And the embellishing is going to basically be um, some cut aparts that I used a cut apart sheet, cut apart sheet and cut apart my own embellishment. And it's going to go to the side of that photo there. It's that mountain I'm putting on now. And it says, keep the adventure alive. That was a three by four card that I just decided to cut apart. And then um, I am going to layer a heart, which came in the collection. And it's like pattern paper or paper with them with layered with vellum. Um, here I did pull something and honestly... This would have been so perfect, but it just didn't go there and I could not figure out where to put it. Maybe I can find a place, I'm not sure. But it says on top of the world. And with that photo, it would have been perfect, but I just, you know when you try to make something work and it doesn't and I just, ugh. So honestly, looking at it now, I'm like, could I somehow incorporate it with the, where I have the title now? And I'm not really sure if I can. So we'll have to see. Maybe I will be able to do it. Um, but we'll see. Um, I might be able to. Um, actually, I'm going to. You're going to see in the still shot at the end. Stay tuned for that still shot. And you will be able to see where I added that sticker. 
um, because just as I'm watching this with you and doing this voiceover, I found the I found a spot where I think it would really work out well. So once I get all of my embellishing done, and the way I embellish, um, I like to have embellishments that follow your eye to the photos. So I will have embellishing next to each photo. And then the top photo, not really gonna have much embellishing next to that photo, but the title will be right next to that photo, which will obviously lead your eye to that spot. Um, either when you start there, it'll start your eye there, or if you start from the bottom, like for some reason, because I know he's climbing, my eye is drawn to the bottom of the page first which I kind of like. Um, and I hope that maybe people looking at this, their eye will be drawn to the bottom as well. And then you can follow him up as he's climbing up that wall. So that's kind of was my goal, but you never know how someone else is going to look at your photo or, you know, look at your layout. But um, you're going to see, I'm going to lay down this photo and then I am going to try to add some of those triangle puffy stickers to the top part of my layout and spoiler alert it doesn't work out I don't know what I was doing I was just playing and it just did not work um but you'll see what I mean and you can let me know if you think it would have been a good idea to keep them there but they just felt like they were floating once I once I stuck them on there. So I'm still working on getting everything glued down. There's where I think I put that heart on. And then my bottom cluster has a little round like canvas piece and it says live in the moment. And I'm going to use that yellow puffy, oh, I'm still putting on that heart. Oh my goodness, you guys. Seems like I'm going so slow. In my head, this layout came together much faster. Um, so, yeah. I'm kind of babbling, and I'm really sorry. I had a crazy day at work today, and I don't know what my problem is. I'm usually not this babbly. I usually am pretty much can get through a layout without um, kind of getting sidetracked. Or a voiceover, I should say. So here's when I did that embellishment cluster at the bottom photo. And I think maybe that yellow camera is what makes it seem maybe heavier to me at the bottom that draws my eye. I'm not sure. Here's the triangles I was telling you about. So I was like, well, I'll kind of follow that triangle pattern that's already in the paper and maybe add some more triangles. And I got right there and I'm like, nope, it, it, is, it just doesn't work. So um, I'm going to take those off. I'm going to attempt to maybe move those triangles to another area of the layout and then I still don't really like how that looks either. They just look like they're floating there. So I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but there I'm going to move it over to the left and um, it's really not going to stay there either. I love those triangles though. I hope I'm able to use them sometime because I really do like, I'm, I like, I go back and forth from geometric type layouts and then, you know, I like soft layouts too, but I have boys, three boys, and they're all older. My youngest is 18. My oldest is 22. Um, so he's going to be 23 in October. So I do a lot with geometric type type styles and clean lines um, because I think those work out really well for boys. So I ended up going into my thicker stash and I had a, a sheet of thickers that were, um, well, they were used. So I am using um, used up used embellishments and um, I love how that title looks. Um, it, it takes up that whole area of the top of the layout and I just think it worked out perfect so I'm glad I got rid of those triangles and then underneath I I put these strips and one says I will climb this mountain the other one says go where you feel most alive and then the final one says doer dreamer believer 
And I just felt like that those were perfect. And honestly, this layout is not going to need much journaling, if any journaling at all, because those word strips pretty much tell the story that I would want to tell about this experience. So as you can see, I'm cutting off the bottom of my photo. Yep, I am. And I don't mind. I actually really love how that looks. So stay tuned to the end so that you can see where I added that on top of the world sticker. I think that you will really like it.